Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, work with Tech Tool Pro again. What we're going to do this time is we're going to use the uh, tools for diagnostics and repair. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start Tech Tool Pro. And once it comes up, then what we're going to do is we're going to select the Tools menu. And I want to talk about a couple of things real quickly because what we're going to do is we're going to restart off of a, an eDrive partition that I've created on my hard drive. Uh, the advantage to the eDrive is that it's a bootable drive. It gives you uh, problem-solving capability and it's better than booting off of a DVD. So there's a big advantage there. Uh, the, the initial time that you create it, when you first uh, use it, you have to mount it. Uh, otherwise it doesn't show up on your desktop. It also doesn't show up to the system. I'll, let me go over here and show you uh, in System Properties or system preferences uh, under startup disk uh, you'll notice that my e drive does show up now prior to you mounting it the first time it will not show so you'll probably have to mount it the first time after that from then on it'll be a mounted drive and basically a mounted volume means it's, means it's available to the computer um, so what we're going to do is uh, there's a couple of different ways I could start up off of this e drive I can select it in my system preferences under startup disk and click on restart I can also inside Tech Tool Pro I could click on and restart e drive either way what it does it it starts up off of the e drive and uh, gets us into uh, into launch mode and allows us to do the work we need to do so what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and start off this e drive and the next thing you'll see is we will be inside the e drive and uh, be actually booting up off of it. So we will talk to you then. Okay, I've already rebooted up on on my uh, uh, e disk uh, partition or e drive partition. And so now that I'm I booted up off the e drive, you'll see the dead giveaway that you're on the e drive is that it will be at the upper. It will be the upper drive that you see. Uh, on your screen. Also the fact is that uh, on Tech Tool what they've done is they've made it to where the background for the eDrive uh, installation uh, is this nice bright yellow just to let you know as your heads up that you are in the eDrive uh, in the eDrive uh, installation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Tools and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a volume rebuild. Um, what the idea of the volume rebuild is to repair corrupted uh, entries in your directory and uh, one of the things that does happen is there are times that you do have problems with your directory and this pro this allows you to repair those problems um, so what you do is select the the volume rebuild and with everything with tech tool remember it's click on the left go to the middle then go to the right to complete the action so we click on volume rebuild we select Macintosh hard drive and we run volume rebuild it asks for my password and so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my password in to make it happy and let it do its thing. So it's going to go through and it's going to do a volume rebuild. This will take a considerable amount of time. Uh, and what we'll do is I'll probably edit this video so that you don't see uh, very much... Uh, uh, going on uh, during this thing because like I say it will take a while for it to go through and check this stuff the good thing I have done is is recently after I did some repairs on the drive I also had um, optimized the drive both a file and a volume optimization so the drive should be relatively quick as far as the repairs here and uh, as far as the volume rebuild because what it does, it's going to re, it's going to re, going to reconstruct your directory and fix hopefully most of the problems that are there. Uh, you'll notice the progress report as it goes through. Check is the, it checks the structures, it acquires information about them, rebuilds them, then it asks for whether you not you want to continue, and then of course it replaces the directory structures. So it, there is an out if you decide to change your mind halfway through the process. Uh, you can stop before telling it to go ahead and replace those directory structures. Uh, you, this is one of those things that you want to be very careful about doing, but by the same token, if your directory on your hard drive is corrupt, you want to fix it. Otherwise, you will have problems further down the road. 
and this is a way of solving them. Okay, here we have, it looks like that um, Tech Tool Pro has gone through. It has done some comparison uh, data. And the one thing that you'll notice about it is that it gives information about the original directory and that it gives information about the rebuilt directory. Uh, you'll notice that these uh, items compare, since I've done repairs recently, they compare very nicely. And as we go down, everything is, is okay. Then you notice used nodes. I've got 45,529 under the current directory, but it says there's only 41,727, which means that most likely I've deleted some files and there's uh, data about those files that's still hanging around. Free nodes, it says 423 under the original settings. Uh, notice 4,225, so there's a considerable amount of space here that uh, that is actually uh, needing to be freed up uh, under the extent B tree, which keeps you know these the catalog B tree keeps information about your catalog. Extents B tree keeps additional information about the catalog and directory structure. Uh, notice instead of six used nodes, it's four. In, uh, the free nodes is exactly is like uh, well 1,276 versus 1,274. So there's a considerable change here. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it yes, I want to replace it. Uh, one thing you always want to note is if these are a favorable change, it will be in green. If it's unfavorable change or an unusual change, it'll be in red. So be cautious whenever you do the unusual changes because that could be catastrophic or could create some problems. Uh, one thing you should always do before doing any kind of repairs on your hard drive, especially on the directory, is copy any important data files off of the hard drive onto a DVD or some other media. Uh, it never hurts to uh, have a backup of your data. So I'm going to tell it, yes, I want to replace it. It's now, it now is going ahead with its proceeding to replace those. It will replace the new rewritten directory uh, in place of the old one, and that will fix that problem. Uh, you notice I've already gone. At the, the time that has elapsed is over seven minutes. It does take time. If I had uh, If I had not optimized the hard drive, it would take even longer. So now it actually went through, it fixed the, did the raw volume rebuild and we're done. We're ready to restart the computer. And so I'm done with, with my work on this. Uh, what I would do now is um, I could go ahead and uh, uh, go to my tools, go to E drive and reboot off the E drive, restart off of it. Um, instead, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my System Preferences, click on that, change my startup disk to the original OS X volume that I was running, and I'm going to click on Restart. So I've, got, I've made these changes, I've made, made sure that that's now going to be the startup volume that I use. And uh, what this should do for me is it should allow me to have my information um, uh, updated and everything should be wonderful. Uh, I want to thank you for your time and in, in viewing this video. Hope it was helpful for you, and uh, hopefully it takes a little bit of the fear out of using this particular tool. Most tools like this are very powerful. Uh, there is a potential for damage, but the thing is that I try to clue you into anything that you need to watch for. Uh, so if you need uh, uh, other hints or tips on computer repairs or problems with your Mac or your PC, come to my website at krabbymac.com. And uh, you can also uh, do a Google for, search for it and uh, Google and search for Krabby's Place. And there's an entry that says, Welcome to Krabby's Place. That'll get you there just as well. Thank you for your time, and you have a great day.